which to move with a sudden jerky motion. Example, when Billy showed me his pet spider, it made me twitch to control the universe using only your thumbs. Example. The pulse of the video game revolution. On this Twitch, battle wizards, worms, and other monsters in magic carpet for the Sega Saturn. Catch the one that got away in Bassmasters Tournament Edition for Super Nintendo. We'll be showing Sony PlayStation racing fans the secret tracks in Wipeout. We'll be checking out the Mad Cat steering wheel in Brave New World. And then the two of us will hash it out on Resident Evil. And we're getting amped up because we're going to E3, baby. That's right, we're getting real Nintendo 64. And we're going to stop by Crystal Dynamics for something called Pandemonium. Our featured game is Capcom's Resident Evil. First up, Wipeout. Let's twitch. Twitch, twitch, twitch. You're twitching with twitch. Are you ready for the future of racing? Well, Psygnosis is, and they call it Wipeout. Now, everybody I've talked to loves this game. The intro to Wipeout is without a doubt one of the best clips we've ever seen. And when the game begins, there's no letdown. There are two racing classes, Venom and Rapier. Unfortunately, Rapier is restricted until you beat the game in Venom class, or you have a cheat code. Hey, we're working on it. Within each class, there are four types of racecraft each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Okay, gentlemen, start your engines. Wipeout has six regular tracks to race on and one hidden track called Firestar. You get your choice of two different views. You can race using the worm's eye view from the nose of the craft or take a third person view from the back. If you're feeling a need for speed, be sure to race using the worm's eye view. But when you go through these twists and turns, be careful. Wipeout is so smooth and rich with detail, you better have a barf bag ready just in case. I love the music's techno rave beat. It definitely adds to the excitement of the game. And check it out. When you go through a tunnel, the music actually echoes. Of course, your racecraft isn't your only weapon. You also find goodies like missiles, rockets, and mines. But if you can use them, so can they. So watch out. You have to wonder why a game like this isn't in the arcade. In fact, I heard a rumor that a major arcade company wanted to buy it. If you can get your hands on this game, do it. For racing game jockeys who have been playing Sony PlayStation's Wipeout, might be interested to know that there's a secret track called Firestar. Enter the following codes at the select number of player screen. What you do is highlight one player. Then press right one, left one, right, start, square, circle, then press X. You'll find yourself at the select racing circuit screen. If you've done the code correctly, you'll find yourself at the cool new racing track, Firestar.
Here's a chance to jump right inside a strange fairy tale adventure, battling evil wizards and fantastic monsters with powerful magic. And fly anywhere you want on your own magic carpet. Because of the groundbreaking 3D graphics and magic carpet for the PlayStation, your carpet moves realistically. And your magic affects everything. If you hurl a fireball into a field of trees, they'll begin burning. Your magic creations rise out of the ground before your very eyes. Don't stop to admire the scenery, though, because evil wizards and chaotic beasts are roaming the land. Plus, you need to gather mana to power your spells. Gathering mana is the most important part of magic carpet. Without it, your spells won't have power, and you'll never align the opposing forces in each world. Create and build your own castle to gain the balloon you need to store every mana ball you collect. You can even convert the mana of another wizard and steal it from him. There are powerful spells in Magic Carpet. You don't have any of them when you begin. You have to find the spells that opposing wizards have hidden or lost. The spells become more powerful the deeper you get into the game. You'll start with just an attacking fireball, a spell for using mana, and a create a castle spell. As you get more powerful, you'll gain spells that teleport you, turn you invisible, and issue powerful elemental attacks. You'll even be able to create volcanoes out of the ground. If you're successful in your quest, you'll become a legend. Magic Carpet from Bullfrog Productions combines strategy, action, and adventure into one well-woven rug. Here's how we rated Magic Carpet. The graphics in this game are impressive even by PlayStation standards, but the levels become so repetitive that by the time you've reached a point where you can use some impressive magic, you've become tired of the game. I thought Magic Carpet was a magical waste of time. The bad control and repetitive gameplay are what kept me from coming back for more. It does have some really nice graphics, though. When Twitch comes back, we'll show you the Mad Hat steering wheel, check out more Nintendo 64 action, and give you some clues for Resident Evil. Sports! 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 sports. Grab your rod and reel, fishing fans. It's time to head out on the lake and catch us some bass. That's right, fellow anglers. We're going to have a 15-day tournament to see who can catch the most fish. The first thing you do is pick which fisherman you want to be, though there's not much difference from one to the other. Then it's off to the bait shop to pick up some fishing gear. The best stuff costs the most money, but hey, it's worth it if you want to catch the big ones. Once you've got your gear together, it's time to hit the water. Choose a spot and cast your line. You have to jiggle your bait a bit to tease a fish into biting, but once you do, it's time to reel them in. Now, since this is a bass fishing tournament, you're only allowed to keep bass, even though you'll catch a ton of different fish. Be careful to let your fish run a little when reeling them in. You don't want your line to break like this fisherman. He'll be talking about the one that got away. I don't think I'd rush out and buy this game, but for something different, nice and calm, slow and easy, it's a fun way to goof off. Kind of like real fishing. This is what we thought of Bassmasters for the Super Nintendo. Well, it's another fishing game. Uh, the graphics and sound are really nice for Super Nintendo standards, but it's still just another fishing game. This is really your dad's video game. You get a choice of all your different fishing options, and you'll be able to take your boat out on the lake and find the fish. But really, it's not going to appeal to almost anybody but fishermen. So your television screen at home just isn't doing your favorite video game justice, huh? Well, lucky for you guys, some United Artists Theaters have hooked up the Satellite Theater Network so you can play your favorite video game on the ultimate screen, the big screen. All right, while I load up tech in here, I'm going to give you a few secrets on how to defeat Galaga. So listen up. If you want to keep playing Galaga as often as possible, press the select button whenever the screen shows your number of hits. Now go ahead and blast away. To play Galaga with double ships, load the game and wait for the PlayStation logo to appear. Then on controller 2, hold up, L1, triangle, and X until the Galaga game starts. If you destroy all 40 ships in the first round, the game will automatically continue to the next wave. You'll have eight waves in all to battle through. So there you go, a whole world of fun from Tekken without ever playing the game. Pretty cool. This sleek looking new piece of hardware for the Sony PlayStation is the Analog Steering Wheel by Mad Cats. This is the kind of peripheral that no racing game fan can live without. 
It's got 270 degrees of rotation, and the further you turn the wheel, the faster you're going to turn. So any racing game fan needs to have this in their arsenal. It also comes with these brake and gas pedals, but it also has all the features on the wheel of a regular controller, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. In my opinion, I think this is probably the coolest accessory so far for the Sony PlayStation. It's got really tight control, and the skid-resistant base prevents your feet from sliding across the floor if you're using the foot and brake pedals. It works great for games like Ridge Racer and Ridge Racer Revolution. While the characters from fighting games may get their guts ripped out or their heads torn off, fighting games themselves will never die. Now the PlayStation has its fair share of fighting games, and Tekken is definitely on the A-list. Tekken has the same feel as Street Fighter and Virtua Fighter, with spectacular 3D graphics. There are plenty of characters from hair-raising Paul, to Russian soldier Jack, to powerful wrestler King, to beautiful battler Michelle. The characters are pretty much the same gang we've come to know and love at the arcade. They have new outfits, but hardly any new moves. Speaking of moves, what's up with the computer getting in all these moves faster than I can do them? It doesn't seem fair. Even with that one problem, Tekken's controls are among the best. And they changed the functions to dedicate a button to each fighter's arms and legs. Anyway, when you KO the other player, you get a slow motion replay of the attack from another camera angle. And you get a victory pose before the next fight. You win. Tekken has some great features. The backgrounds rotate and the battlegrounds scroll forever in either direction. The action and graphics are great. <laughs> Here's Anna with a classic spinning toss of poor old Paul. Wonder how you do that in real life. <laughs> Welcome to the house of Nintendo built. Hey, it's no big secret that when Nintendo does something, they do it big. And they spared no expense to launch their latest product. It's Nintendo 64, and it is the latest rage in video game technology. I think this is definitely what they say it's going to do. It's going to it's going to revolutionize um, how games are going to be made. That's amazing. You're actually in the middle of a, of a 3D world, so you can actually maneuver in and out. And I like the fact that you can stand up and, you know, be in, like, in the middle of, of the sky, you know, and then go in the water. I love it. When you're swimming, you feel like you're swimming. Put the old Mario to shame. Guess what, you're on, you're on TV. She's wanted by the law. What do you like about it? I don't know, just the graphics and the whole joystick. Just the whole playing ability of it. Is it all you thought it would be? Uh, it's even better. Yeah? If I was Sony and Sega, I'd be worried. It's awesome, isn't it? Incredible machine. You've come all the way across the Atlantic to see Nintendo 64. When something as good as this appears, you've got to go see it. Hey, what game are you guys playing? Nintendo 64! And wait a second, shouldn't you guys be in school today? We quit school! It's too young to quit school! Is it a cool game? Yeah! Why do you like it so much? I got a master's here from it. Can I blow my nose in it? Yeah. What's your other favorite games, guys? Mario RPG! Mario 3! You guys ever seen Twitch? Twitch! Hey, right there from Pac 156. Cubs, they got it going on anyway, Don't go away. Twitch has more E3 coverage and, as promised, Resident Evil strategy tips. I'm not happy unless I'm twitching. With the veritable plethora of games out on the market these days, gamers are expecting a lot in the next generation of platform games. Hey, well, Crystal Dynamics is giving it to them in the form of pandemonium. And here's the game's producer, Mark Wallace. Nice. What we've done is Pandemonium is a traditional platform game, but taken into a 3D environment and allows the player to see a lot of their environment. So they can move through, they see everything ahead of them, and they interact with it. So that there's multiple you know, paths that you can take. Anything that you can see, you think you can go to, you can go there. You know, it sounds a lot like Nintendo 64. What's the difference? Well, I think the difference is really the speed of play. Um, what we've done is, you know, instead of the traditional 3D environment game where we allow the player to go anywhere they want and they spend more of their time kind of exploring, we've taken that into our own control 
and allow the character just to concentrate on speed, getting through the game, you know, combating enemies, finding treasure, going. If you got the need for speed, you need Pandemonium. Adventure! Adventure! Resident Evil is one of the best games ever to hit the PlayStation. It combines the thrills of a late 70s horror flick with the best action games to create an exciting package that no PlayStation owner can afford to miss. You and other members of the Bravo rescue team are sent into a strange land to find your buddies who have mysteriously disappeared. You can be either Chris or Jill, but players who use Chris will go it alone most of the game, while Jill will receive a lot of help from Barry, another member of the team. Let me take care of this. It's up to you to scour the grounds, look for your team members, and find a way out without getting killed. This game is full of strange and challenging puzzles, so here's a few tips on the more difficult ones. Now, if you don't want to know, don't watch, but if you do, get ready to take some notes. First of all, the picture gallery in the first floor has an item you need, the Star Crest. The gallery is full of pictures, and each one has a switch to throw. Throw them in this order, and you'll get your reward. It would probably be real nice to know where you were going in the second level of this old mansion. So here's a pretty easy way to get a map. There are all kinds of creepy things in this place, and they'll attack you in any way they can. So it's a good idea to try and avoid those creatures if possible. Here's a way to avoid that nasty tentacle. Avoid the shark attack in this waist deep water. Slosh your way to this room, throw the switch, and you'll find those sharks in a less than ideal attacking position. Resident Evil has a great storyline with exceptional graphics and non-stop action. This is one of the best games I've played in a long time. Resident Evil, in my opinion, is what these 32-bit systems are really all about. I think Capcom finally has a breakaway from the Street Fighter series, and it's really about time. Yeah, let's see, what does this game have? Uh, blood, guts, <laughs> zombies, and more snakes, blood, shotguns. <laughs> Why would anybody want to buy the game? I know, gosh, it's, uh, it's hard to figure out the popularity of this game. But in my opinion, this is what the next generation of systems is all about. Putting you inside an actual movie, and the voice acting is just awful in this, but it really makes the game uh, yeah, a it's, B movie. It's, it's, the, the only bad thing about the game is the safe feature. The fact that you got to run around and look at these ink ribbons to save them on typewriters, okay. and there's not enough ink ribbons around. Well, and that's if you can find a typewriter before you eat it. Yeah, because well, you, know, you can play the game for 20 minutes, die, and if you didn't save your game, too bad. And if you've saved too many times because you wanted to avoid dying and starting the game over again, you'll run out of ribbons. Yeah. If you want a Sony PlayStation, Resident Evil is definitely one of the top titles to get. Yeah, I agree. This is probably the best title I've played as an adventure game on the PlayStation. If you're an owner of this system, I'd say it's a must-buy. Here's a few tips that extend your play for MechWarrior 3050 for the Super Nintendo. First, get to the password screen by pressing down, button A, button X, at the Tiburon logo screen. To play as an enemy mech, enter the following password at the password screen. X-T-R-M-3-K. 
for unlimited ammunition, enter this code at the password screen. M1R0G3. For invincibility, enter the level passwords listed here. The unlimited ammo code, and then the invincibility code. MKWFLL. Now you'll really be able to blast all those mechs to heck. Get your VCR ready. The Twitch Tips recap is coming at you. Don't fight it. You got the impulse, the nerve, that gut feeling. Get in. Twitch. Twitch brings the world of video games alive. Your host leads you through the hottest new game. Give you the lowdown on inside info and shows the good you just gotta have. Don't just play the game. Live it with... We're Here's the Twitch Tip recap. For the secret track in Wipeout, highlight one player, then press and hold R1, L1, right, start, and circle, and then press X. To continue playing Galaga as often as you want when you're loading Tekken on your PlayStation, press the select button whenever the screen shows your number of hits. To play with double ships, at the PlayStation logo, hold up, L1, triangle, and X on controller 2 until the Galaga game starts. Here are the codes for MechWarrior 3050 for the Super Nintendo. To get to the password screen, press down, button A, and button X at the Tiburon logo screen. Then enter the following codes. To play as an enemy mech, enter XTRM3K. For unlimited ammunition, enter M1ROG3. For invincibility, enter the level passwords listed here. The unlimited ammo code and then the invincibility code MKWFLL. Have any secret tips or codes you want to share on Twitch? Email them to us along with your comments at intro at tcinc.com or send us a letter at Intro Television, 4100 East Dry Creek Road, Littleton, Colorado, 80122. On the next switch, Earthworm Jim joins the next generation and his creator gives the lowdown on his slimy creation. Plus, we'll take a hard look at the hardcore in EA's...